Hello class, just sending you a quick video before my schedule gets a little crazy. Um, I just wanted to remind you that for this week, you only have one big assignment and that's because I want you to focus on your paper. So if there are still any remaining questions on what the expectation for the paper are, like right now would be a really good time to reach out and ask for those questions. If you go to announcements, I made a video for you last week covering the the um, the lecture I would have covered in my in-person class, but because you're online and it's asynchronous, I wanted to make sure that you had access to some of the things that I gave my in-person class. Um, you know, each assignment for your class is, there's a rubric attached to it. And what I would do is I would try to spend some time opening up, excuse me, opening up the assignments and checking out the rubric for each assignment. For this particular assignment, you'll see what it what what things you need to do in order to get an A, a B, a C, a D. We're all going to get a C or better. I'm confident about that. But I just want to make sure that you know how you'll be graded for your paper. Um, next week, um, you have a little bit of a, a, a of a lighter week. You have a discussion. Um, it's called discussion on Barack Obama, and essentially. What I want you to do is I want you to analyze an image I've uploaded. You might have to, you will have to do some research around the image, especially if this is something new that you've never seen before. You know, when I, and if you're as old as I am, I remember seeing this and it was kind of a big deal. So I have some context for it, but if you've never seen the image attached to this assignment, you will have to do some research. And more than just the image, what I want you to focus on is this idea on this idea of post-racial America. Um, I think that recently, at least within the past two to three years, especially during the pandemic, I don't know if the discussion around post-racial America is as nuanced anymore, considering everything that's happening in the world, you know. Um, so, you know, just pay attention to the question, make sure that you're able to articulate this concept of post-racial America contextualize it um, with the image I've provided, but also I want you to share, you know, what are your thoughts about this concept of post-racial post America and really think about how it applies to this moment in history, the moment that we are living in today. So there's kind of like three levels to it, right? Understanding the concept, how does it apply to the image um, attached to the assignment? And then also, how does it apply with the reality that we're living in today? So those are a few of my notes. If you have any questions, you know, please, of course, reach out. And any more ideas on different videos that I can make for you, again, reach out. Let me know. Let me know if the videos are even helpful. And I want to thank those of you that have reached out and, and, and given me some feedback. Feedback is always helpful. And I think that's all I have for you this week. Um, and of course, I'll be making a follow up video once I'm done, um, you know, grading your papers. So good luck this week. I know you're going to do a great job. Make sure that if you want to guarantee that you follow all the, um, the steps in order to get the minimum requirements that you're following the prompt, that you're looking at the videos on introductions and thesis statements, the lecture video on claims and paragraph format. And then also, if you go to announcements, there's a lecture video kind of breaking down the prompt for the essay and how to get started. All of those videos are there as resources for you. If, if you need to listen to it a couple times, if you're anything like me, I oftentimes need to listen to things a couple times. So um, don't hesitate to reach out. And if you need any help, I would say that if you can't reach me, for example, if you get to Thursday or Friday, you know, I'm already wrapping up my week. Um, if you still want to, you want someone to look at your draft, make sure that you reach out to the tutoring center on campus. Um, they can help you online if you can't physically walk into campus. Or um, also there is an option on the um, left column of your Canvas shell called NetTutor. You can also use NetTutor as um, a tutoring service to look at your paper before you, fin you, know, before you turn it in for a final grade. Okay, I'm going to sign off now and again, reach out if you have any questions.